Hello everybody, my name is Karen Fire and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to visit a lot of your exes. And by that I mean uh, visit a bunch of snakes. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, okay. Anyway, uh, they're more lizard men anyway, but I, I, I thought I'd crack a really crappy joke. Anyway, <laughs> my name is Karen Fire and welcome back to my sorcery sip to series where we do things and have fun and this is kind of like a little follow-up episode of my last episode so if you haven't watched that it might be worth watching that goes to say with all of the series really um but either way uh, each and in, uh, individual content should be uh, viewable from uh, if you're in a new standpoint as well um because we do all sorts of things here wherever it goes shoveling or we do vaults uh, but today it's going to be doing the Degenerate Serpent Vault where there is no poison but these guys and I have poison on my axe. We have Shrek and Fiona with me, I also have Bertie the horse and uh, hopefully we get some goodies in this lovely place. The only thing that disappoints me about this vault is like uh, you know all of these pages when this first came out I really expected there to be like a lot of secret paper you could pull out or something in here and you could get like a special recipe of something but um no you don't get that <laughs> it's so sad either way uh, you do get chests down here you do get mean little sisters boys and I've just seen my uh, my lovely encumbrance potion has uh oh it's gone to one hour I thought it was about to run out I was scared then. Oh, I'm glad it's still lasting because I thought it was about to run out. Anyway, these guys give uh, nice weapons if you can kill them uh, early on. If you're ambitious enough, it can be done, you know, what can I say? Um, but they will give lovely uh, serpent people weapons. Unfortunately, though, I'm not going to use any of them because I don't need them. <laughs> uh, but we do need what these people have in the vault. And there could be a chance to drop some, uh, ooh, there it is, Elderium. The javelins maybe not so bad. Either way, oh, I forgot to put on the paint from the last video. I always try and make a thing of putting on the um, new paint we get. Uh, we're going to put on the snake paint. Oh my goodness, I'm kind of actually regretting doing this. <laughs> what is this? I, I look... Uh... Fabulous, I, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> I might change that to the bat one and see if that's any better, but we'll see. Um, but I, I guess I'll try and like fool them as one of them, you know. From a distance, I totally look like you, don't I? <laughs> that's really something special, right? Uh, anyway, let's get rid of some more snake people. Oh. I missed twice. I am so good. And again, we're fighting like creatures with booties. They have like miniature booties. I don't know who the like art designer of a lot of these models are, but they have a thing with buttholes and booties. I don't. I don't know. I think you need to um, <laughs> maybe get around a bit more in in a non cheaty way. You know, just you know. See some people. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. It's great humor either way. Um, anyway, wherever we go into the vault, I was hoping to be able to get a skeleton key just in case we found a skeleton key chest in here. But it would seem that uh, no, I haven't found one. I don't know why I just did that loop to loop because we need to go downstairs. Anyway, through we go, and we can crank the handle to open up the scratchy door which is used via the very weird coloured fire. Anyway, we move on to the next section where we go and do more things and stuff. Get rid of the lizard man. Get him. Oh, <laughs> you just got clawed. Oh, I like these guys because they give some nice weapons and some supply materials and goodness knows what else. I probably should have killed these guys before I stood on that, but if I didn't kill them, then I'm sure my frogs would have stepped on the button for me. Um, because that's usually what happens, and I don't like how many of these guys I'm surrounded by right now. It's kind of concerning. And now my horse's butthole is getting slapped. <laughs> Doing all the work over here. You know Shrek's going to get some mad levels though through this. Ooh, yeah, he's definitely going to get some mad levels through this. 
Ooh, look all the damage numbers. I hope uh, nobody's dying over there. It's kind of concerning. Anyway, we got through here. I don't even know why I fought these guys over here. Very uh, unnecessary. Get off my horse. Stop touching the horse. Get out of here. I swear, everything has like this really bad some like addiction to go for horses. I was about to say sensation to go for horses. I guess it could be a sensation as well. Maybe they're just addicted to horses. Oh! These little throwing axes might be a good example of uh, what I was talking about in this video, the last video. I can't remember. Same day, same thing. Um, but there's a thing you can do, if you didn't know, with the axes, and you can do a little spin to winny thing. So I can hold it in my hand, and as long as I don't uh, throw it, you can just keep going and spinny, spinny, spinny. Kind of like this. And it's a lot of fun. You know what? Why don't we just run the rest of the dungeon like this? Um, I don't I think these are as good as uh, axes as I could get, like the other ones we just learnt about in the last episode, I remember it is now. But it should still give you the idea of uh, what it is for. Oh, there's different paint this time. Serpent paint. I guess we can put that on as well. Uh, let's go to a lit up area. Let's put the serpent paint on. Maybe I'll look less scary or is it the same stuff? I guess that looks a little cooler, much better than the other one. I'm still very green though. <laughs> I look ill. <laughs> Either way, let's see if we can find a victim. Oh, is the boss room already? You know, I forgot how quick this fault was. Um, that kind of ruins my plans because I want my shield back. <laughs> right, you guys come for me. So yeah, we can do the little spinny spinny hopefully. Spin, 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 spin. Yeah, there we go. And I can just continue into this guy. Spin, 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 spin. Oh, we ran out of spins. Oh, but we can go to this guy. <laughs> yeah, match this with a really good war axe. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've done that. But yeah, I am usually a shield person because it is handy to have a shield just in case something goes bad or you're fighting a boss it's always useful to have because you can block the incoming damage for the most part as long as you've got the stamina to deal with it which i do because i got jill gloves on and jill gloves are gonna keep me running for quite the while anyway this is a really good way to stack poison look at this if i get like a little war axe that did um not a war axe a little throwing axe that does a nice bleed as well <laughs> Oh no, 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 I'm looking at it. I was going to say, when I get into the later attacks, it actually does less damage. I'm seeing a lot of 34s. Um, so that's actually very interesting. Serpent Man Mace. That's pretty decent mace to grab as well if you wanted a free one. Um, but yeah, I imagine I'll do much better with a War Axe that does more damage. Um, but it looks like I do a lot less damage when I hit the um, combo going on. Either way, it, I mean, it's faster damage, so... Probably about the same. Let's drink some of this lovely serpent goo water. Yummy. <laughs> and let's fight this guy. He is um, also not too bad to fight, honestly. As he does spend a lot of time just con contemplating life. Uh, and throwing himself and doing ooey gooey things. I literally thought you were a slime ball coming out of his asshole, Shrek. Just, just a second there. I'm not going to lie. Uh, anyway, we're doing a lot of damage. This is really good stuff. Let's get this, guys. Come on. Yeah, I think I'm doing more damage when I just have this in my hands. Either way, antidote, happy days. And let's cut this guy up. Because he's going to give us some lovely stuff. Maybe a bit too much stuff. <laughs> but we don't need the bones. Honestly, don't really need the eggs either, but we'll take them. I hear a lot of grunty noises. You guys should probably see to that. You guys should definitely see to that, because Bertie's getting absolutely bolstered up the bum. Jeez, that was a hit and a half. Yeah, so I do normal damage, and then when I get into the combo, it's a lot of the war axe damage. I see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can look into getting a good war axe. Uh, have a look at the unlocks. And into the snake learnables. So where are those? I think those are in the middle at the end. They're at the end. Well, it looks a bit... Anyway, we got more Eldarium, which we absolutely need, and some actually really decent loot in this one. Um, I'm kind of tempted on that. <laughs> what does this sigil do? This sigil, in case boosting the thickness of the blood. Yummy. 
Yuck. <laughs> anyway, we're going to eat it, and uh, that will make us stronger against the elements and the animals. Well, the animals mostly, and the people, and the evil. Stronger against evil is always good, either way. Anyway, let's learn what we have here today. So we have the uh, serpentines. Serpentine? Serpents. Armory. <laughs> um, let's have a look what that would give us. So serp... Yeah, there we go. So we got the boots. I believe these ones are really good at weight. I can't remember off the top of my head. And then we have the armory. So, you know, not very fabulous stuff in here, but stuff all the same. There we go. We're done with the vault. And it's come out at nine o'clock. So that's nice daytime. We've got plenty of time to go into New Luxor without it being all doom and gloom looking. <laughs> Which I always like, you know, what I can see. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Hello. Anyway, over here is uh, not just three bosses. There's actually four. So you have one inside the tower, one on top of the tower, one in the courtyard, uh, one inside of the middle building as well. It can be quite a good place, New Luxor. You can get a new loot. Uh, new loot? A lot of loot. Probably not going to do it justice in this one video. Because you can go up to pretty much all of these, you know, higher up bits and there's chests absolutely everywhere. Um, but again, it's one of those cases that I've been out for a while. It's probably not going to be the best time to collect, like, lots of loot. Either way, jeez, I'm loading it all in. <laughs> we should be able to get some uh, muscle done here today. I just see if you're going to reach level 20. We'll have to have a look at that. I wonder what Shrek is then. Shrek's got to be a decent level by now. I believe in you, Shrek. You still have steak. Let's <laughs> kill this. See, let's try the war axe on this dude. I know it's not the best, but... Let's go! Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I think I lost my rhythm. Oh no, there we go. Boom, 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 I think I'm loading in something like mad or something over here. Someone maybe has their base somewhere. Because it is choppy round here for some reason, which is very unfortunate. Right then, dude, let's get you finished off. I don't know why I'm standing in front, because the other guys are taking most of the um, stuff. We got the harp here, sir. Mm. I don't want it, though, so they can keep it. Do you drop anything good? I can't remember. Can I chop you for anything? Just bone. Oh, and demon blood. And demon blood. We can't forget the demon blood. As always, um, kind of valuable. I'm going to drop the ichor and the rest of the stuff, because... We will not be needing that because we live right next to a, a massive ichor source. So we can technically get ichor anytime we want and like. So that's absolutely fabulous. Anyway, yeah, it's very framey around here for some reason for me. I don't know why, but it very, very much is very framey. Oh, I'm going to make it like a rule in the future that nobody can build around big monuments because it is pretty crazy. <laughs> Ah, we're getting to the big death. All right, hang on. I need a potion. I'm not paying attention. I've got a distracted. Do -do -do -do. I've noticed, by the way, the wolf helmet overrides your food buff, which is actually very, very annoying. So when you put... A f There's um, separate buffs in Conan at the moment where um, you have a separate buff for your food, what your food can give you, and then a separate one for potions. And then you can sometimes get buffed off your armor, which uh, I definitely can. Um, but I found out that the helmet actually is overriding a food buff. So I can't actually, like, stack them, which is actually very, very annoying. Um, I'm going to block you straight away. All right, you guys, I'm going to make sure you uh, do quite a lot of this because he's a very slappy turtle. Um, unless you give me the rear end, then I'll happily do some more damage for you. We'll apply some uh, poisons and bleeds and... Well, I can't apply any of them, it's all Santa. Because <laughs> I forgot you are undead. Oh well. Look, he's like absolutely bludgeoned. He looks crispy. <laughs> Either way, together we should do significantly better as a unit. There we go, lovely. Probably shouldn't stay too close to this dude. Come on, guys, you got this. 
He's not that far away from doom yet. There we go. Rotting. Ooh. Let's see what he gives today. Yeah, it's definitely very, very laggy around here for some reason. Uh, he gave the same kind of stuff. Stuff we don't want, unfortunately. So we're going to get rid of that. There we go. And go further in. What do we have? What do we see? Yeah, there's just so many chests here. I, I want to pick that up, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so many chests in New Luxor. It's wonderful. I'm going to take the pearls, though. Um, but yeah, I probably should have dropped stuff off her home and come back here. But it is quite a journey. Like, it is a very long way to walk. Um, to get here, it's a bit better if I went for the serpent place. Or the serpent place. The skeleton place on the other side of the map, which is very dark and gloomy. Probably a lot better for me to go there. Um, in comparison to here, if I wanted to do some major chest looting. And that place also has a lot of good stuff. And a lot of story as well. Oi, you! I think he's got him. Nice! <laughs> Someone's got your attention over here, I can see it. They're trying to beat you up. You guys can, like... Yeah, you can have that if you want. Um, Alright, I guess we're going to go up towards the judge now. Uh, and the top of the building. Judge is the place where you have a chance to get some very good blueprints as well. Um, you drop some of the rarer ones. I'm hoping he drops something nice. Um... But honestly, he has such a big loot pool. It is redonkulous. <laughs> so the likelihood of getting something you want is uh, slim. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Ah, I didn't bring a skeleton key for this chest. Big sad. But we can't... Oh, I don't want that either. <laughs> Why do you think I want that? Well, the frames got better on the right side. I wonder. I wonder. Who's been building big monstrosities? <laughs> Anyway, come here, you. Is the judge already coming for us? What are you doing, man? You're like preemptively coming for me. Well, I guess I guess we're fighting out here then. Jeez, you take such reduced damage. Are you trying to go? Are you trying to ping back to your place? I can't figure it out. Are you healing? Ow! <laughs> Uh, all right i'm gonna keep him on the floor do some more i should be able to block quite a decent amount of his attacks with a shield unless he kicks when he kicks it's a pain in the ass but these guys should be able to do the most damage to him they'll be able to apply some success debuffs and i'll be able to keep knocking him over which is one reason i like using the uh, war axe when it comes to fighting this guy because you can constantly make him go on the floor but he does hit pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie, he's doing 179 damage to my frost. I don't know if you're seeing the reds. Yeah, get him. <laughs> Down on the floor. Give him some ball. Yeah, we're nearly halfway. <laughs> he's getting absolutely shambled in there. As long as we don't push him through the mesh. I know that can happen. Can't be too uh, ambitious here. Anyway, gonna have some food. I think they're doing a very good job at keeping him in cornered. Yeah. You guys are doing amazing. Look at this. He's getting pubbled. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh. What did you give this time? Of course you wouldn't give uh, any recipes. Very nice. <laughs> Anyway, I've seen we've got some levels up on our frills. What did you get? Thick skull? I swear this is the second time I've got thick skull. Um, either way, she's actually pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. They're not the worst stats in the world. Um, they're not the best stats she could have got. But they are decent, so I'm pretty satisfied with Fiona. What about Shrek? Deadeye. On a fighter. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> well, uh, what is your stats anyway? You get 70% on all three tops. Oh, no. That is actually pain to my soul. Shrek is going to probably be like my first really bad fruit. <laughs> I know we can do the whole rebirth thing on him, but we're not going to do that until he gets up to level 20. But I'm actually morbidly curious on how bad he's going to get, you know? Look at that chamber of scales but that sucks dead eye is your first perk 
Yikes. <laughs> that just tells me everything I need to know that this dude's gonna be trash. <laughs> oh, that actually pains me. That really pains me. I don't know why they can get dead eye on a fighter. Um, I think it's just to troll people end of the day, honestly. It really is. <laughs> Anyway, we're pretty much done on this bit. We're going to go up to the top now. We're going to fight the bat. That gives quite a lot of black blood, uh, hopefully. Um, but he can give some other things as well. So we'll fight it. Make sure we've done the whole kind of shabam while we're here. There's also some nasty skellies up here too. But this is like the best route you can take to get up here. Um, to my knowledge. Well, it always feels like the best way to get up. Um, either way. Hello. My horse get beaten up. Oh god. I hate to hear my horse getting beaten up. It is the worst. And then there's the other step way up, and hopefully these guys stop getting murderized. Oh no, there's a storm coming! No! <laughs> oh no! Our visibility is going in the pooper. At least my horse is fine. Anyway, we're gonna go up here. Make sure we don't go too uh, far over the edge. And then we're going to go up here. And this should take us up to the top. Where there is a bat boss. And we've got to be extremely careful not to get flung off the edge. Because we we'll go down one of those holes. Because that is very much a possibility. Very, very, very much a possibility to get thrown down the hole. I've, uh, I've had friends have that happen before. It was really quite funny, honestly. But tragic at the same time. Funnily tragic. Anyway, these guys seem to have got a handle on it. Let me just quickly eat some food. Hello! You handling the bat okay? The bat... I don't know what the bat is doing. What are you doing, Jilly? <laughs> you looking for some Willy? She just really doesn't care today. Apparently. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not complaining though. Free kill. Oh, might be activating. The one lost behind. Ooh, Sword of Champions. There's one of the drops and a Fragment of Power. And then we chop four stuff. Your feather, black blood. There we go, 60 black blood. Oh, 100 black blood. Oh, that's going to be so handy. So that was majorly useful for me to kill. We got 177 black blood for uh, killing that. Of course, if you're on a lower rate server, you're not going to get as much blood as that, but... We managed to get a decent amount and it may, might mean you just have to come up here a few times um but when it comes to conan you just do what it takes right oh, jesus looty loot Ooh, that's some nice alchemical base all right we we got full inventory pretty much um so i might have a, like a little ponder around for some chests because there's always chests here everywhere and anywhere in every place any place I'll make it home um, before that starts, hopefully. I don't think we'll make it, but um, let's go home. Oh, we made it home. Either way, we got a really good haul. I've got everything on the burner now. I um, did a very silly thing. I was talking about loads of stuff and doing openings, and I had my OBS paused. <laughs> I'm a silly sausage. Either way, um, yeah, to kind of go over the points I was trying to go over, over i am making like all these trophies and stuff i've made a few already to hopefully go towards like a trophy room or something i don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet but i want to make all of these individual things but they cost a lot of out of real so it's going to be difficult to get them all done um either way uh, i made a bunch of those <laughs> this is so sad uh we opened a bunch of bearer packs we got lots of lovely metal um i believe i got 500 steel from one of them I, either way i got a lot of steel and uh yeah that, that was pretty much the most of it <laughs> oh, that's so sad either way this is what's going on and if you were guessing what was in the hole um in the last episode well wouldn't you like to know <laughs> i don't know why i'm being so secretive about it but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video today thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye